When a Killer Calls is a uh, book by John E. Douglas and Markle Shaker. It is a uh, book focused just on one case, uh, kidnapping killer, um, a young woman, 17, named Sherry Smith, was abducted outside of her house, uh, and the police are brought in, and they bring in the FBI to sort of do a profile to find out this guy. Uh, this book was pretty dark, because most of the Johnny Douglas books focus on, like, a killer, you know, multiple killers usually, but this is just one case. It's really disturbing because of the nature of the crime to kidnap a 17-year-old for whatever purpose. is a very dark material, even for me. Uh, I found myself getting really depressed listening to this on audiobook. I had to take a break from it for a little while because it's very emotional stuff. Uh, since there's only one case, he goes into a lot more detail than usual because his other books are sort of like, I, would, I don't want to say anthologies, but they kind of are except for the, the one about the racist serial killer. That was mainly one case. But this was one case, a kidnapping killer. And then as we go on, we find out more about the main guy. And he was a really sick puppy. He was the type of person that would keep calling the family to sort of like engage them in conversation and sort of get off on sort of just having them under like his influence and their power, you know, like he's sort of like, you know, lording it over them. He was a really messed up individual. And then more elements happened in the case and another girl goes missing. And honestly, it was just one of the more um, in depth than you'd like um, stories. And it happened in a small town. Uh, they even go all the way, the third, the third like chunk of the book is actually the legal stuff because they had to go into like the uh, lawyers having to try to give them the um, mental, uh, try to do the insanity act sort of thing to get away with a lighter sentence. Uh, and this happened in the, uh, I want to say the 70s or 80s. So it was really back in the day when they didn't have all the technology and stuff to like sort of catch people. It was like old school kind of like groundwork, police work, you know, going door to door, following up on leads, you know, getting leads from calls and stuff like that, taking down license plates at funerals and things like that. It was really old school and also really in depth to the point where like they even like discuss like what happened like way after the, the case is solved and they catch the guy, his trial and like his sentencing and then what happened after. It's a, a really um, harrowing story. That was that might have been might be a little bit too much for some people. I mean, if you have kids, or I mean, it, it really affected me just because they went into so much detail, and I was just kind of like, whoa, you know, like so. This one's a bit different because it's more personal. Um, it does still have the whole, you know, I like the death penalty thing because Johnny Douglas is all about that. But overall, it's a very harrowing case. Definitely not for the faint of heart. Um, other Johnny Douglas books, you know, he kind of just snips into here and there and dips in and out. But this one's like a focused, like a way focused, too much focus um, sometimes. And that can be a bit much. So uh, it's still an intriguing read though. You learn a lot. And I give uh, When a Killer Calls a three out of five.